Hi, Jeff here with AquaQuip, and I want to talk to you today about what it takes to put a swim spa in your backyard. Maybe you've just purchased one from AquaQuip, or maybe you're thinking about adding a swim spa to the backyard, and there's some things that uh, you want to consider that will make your life easy as you plan through that project and as we go through the process of purchase, delivery, and installation of the swim spa. First thing I want to point out is that Hydropool makes these very handy installation guidebooks. If you've already purchased one, your salesperson can provide this for you. Uh, if you do not have this in your hands yet, let us know and we'll make sure you do because this walks you through many of the things we're going to talk about right now. And it's a very, very helpful guide uh, as you plan your project. So let's talk about a swim spa and how this thing is going to get in your backyard. Swim spas are big, uh, no surprise there. They're all roughly eight feet wide and they range in length from 12 feet all the way up to 19 feet. Uh, these things don't bend too well. They don't go around corners, they don't tip. So we've got to think through how is this thing going to fit in your particular backyard and get to the space that you have planned for the swim spa. Uh, by the way, that's checkbox one uh, before anything else happens because the last thing we want to do is prep your site uh, spend a whole bunch of money uh, preparing your concrete pad or wherever you're going to put this thing and find out later that there isn't a good way to get it into your house. Uh, swim spas are delivered in one of two ways. We're going to bring it in flat. It comes off of the trailer and it comes onto dollies that can wheel uh, short distances. If that path is nice and wide and open, uh, no gates, no fences, no steps, no things like that. But if we can wheel the swim spa to the site where it's gonna go, great. That's quick and easy and, and something that we can accomplish pretty easily. Uh, that is not the majority uh, of, of the cases out there. Many times you need a crane. Uh, most swim spas are big. Some of these are four and 5,000 pounds dry and they need a crane to lift up off of the delivery truck and into the backyard. Um, that is something that we help with. That's something that part of the purchase is uh, your salesperson can and be in touch with crane operators who we have a relationship with. Those crane operators will come out and take a look at the site. Um, they'll establish that we can accomplish a crane delivery and they'll give you an estimate as to what that crane will cost. The crane expense is not part of the expense of buying the swim spa. So that's an expense that you're going to have separate from the purchase of the swim spa. Cranes are not uh, you know, outrageously expensive. They're a part of uh, most swim spa deliveries and it's just something that we can help orchestrate for you. So as we're thinking through the delivery and as you're thinking through the process of purchase, uh, factor that in. We're gonna send somebody out, if you purchased from AquaQuip, we're gonna send out a delivery coordinator and they're gonna take a look and help you assess that. So that's part of the purchase as well is that we'll coordinate all of that before uh, anything gets ordered. So okay. Now we've established that we can get the swim spa into your yard. Now we want to talk about site prep. Where is this thing going to go? We have a lot of customers that just want something quick and easy. They want to slide it into a garage. You know, that can work in many cases. We have other customers that want to go the other extreme and they want to dig down into a vault and recess this thing into the gra uh, ground or into the deck. All of those things are options, but each one has its own sort of parameters around what's okay and what's not okay. So we're going to talk through that now. We get asked a lot, you know, how thick should the concrete be if I'm going to pour a concrete slab for a swim spa? That's not an easy question for a salesperson to answer. There are professionals out there that are, uh, what they do is pour concrete and work with concrete. There's variation in your property in terms of slope and how saturated the ground can be. So that's really something that you want to work out with the contractor who's going to pour the concrete. And yes, we do have some contractors that we work with and there can be some referrals, but the best solution there is to find somebody local for you. Uh, maybe if you're a part of a next door association, that can be a great way to find a contractor or literally just Google or look up local contractors who, who pour concrete. Um, you'll find a wide variety of people that are available to you who do that kind of work. And the pre-install guide can be a great guide for them to help them with that site prep. Concrete is definitely the most common uh, site prep uh, surface and we definitely recommend concrete, but there are alternative solutions as well. The uh, pad that you prepare for a swim spa has to be able to accommodate this much weight. <clears throat> Excuse me, the weight of a swim spa is evenly distributed across the base of the swim spa, but we got a lot of water in these things and it's a ton of water weight. So whatever that ground prep is, it's gotta be able to handle that. Uh, many people ask, crushed gravel, does crushed gravel uh, work? Crushed gravel does work, but think of it like this. It's got to be so compact that you can drive a truck 
onto that gravel bed. So if you're able to, in your site, prepare a crushed rock base that's that compacted and that stable, then that's an adequate surface. We also have a material called a smart deck, which is a synthetic pad that comes in a wide variety of sizes. And with the proper ground prep, the synthetic pad can be a great option too. We'll show you an image of the uh, smart deck and you can use that as a swim spot base as well. So now, uh, what happens if you're gonna recess the swim spa down into the ground? Is that an option? The answer is yes, and it's a popular way to install a swim spa. There is a cost consideration when dropping into the ground because you've gotta build a vault, uh, what we call a vault, for the swim spa to be dropped into the ground. We can't have dirt building up and resting up against the side of any swim spa. That's not a long-term um, uh, installation. So if you drop it into the ground, as the contractor digs down, there needs to be concrete walls created. So that's what's built down into the ground is a vault with built-in drainage, pre-done conduit for the electrical, which we'll talk about here in a minute. And it's built in such a way that there's access to future uh, interior uh, equipment that might need to be accessed. There's things in a swim spa like pumps. Maybe it has a UV system with a bulb that needs to be replaced. There are things that you're gonna to need to get to inside the swim spa down the road, and you need to be able to plan for that. Um, just a quick tip, the hot tub or swim spa that you purchase has a warranty, and the warranty is a parts and labor warranty, but you're responsible to provide access to that equipment. Um, it's very much like if you bought a car and you welded your hood shut and then took it to the mechanic to fix. If they can't get in there to fix it, then that's something that you've got to take care of. So please, when you're considering how to put in a swim spa, think about how are we going to be able to access the equipment five years, 10 years, 15 years down the road. The swim spa you purchase, 95% uh, of what needs access uh, to that swim spa is on one end. So on a hydro pool brand, it's the end where the swim jets are. That is where all your pumps and your heater and your equipment is. Um, but talk to your salesperson and look at the installation guide and think through what other areas might need access to the swim spa. Uh, recessing down in, um, again, when you do that, it's going to add some expense, but it's a beautiful installation. But you've got to think through drainage and you've got to think through how does the electrical get in there. That is not something that we do. That's not part of the purchase price of the swim spa. So that's something that you'll work out with a contractor uh, in your backyard for your specific site. So let's talk about electrical. So these things, uh, you know, quite simply, uh, they're very much like hot tubs in that sense. Swim spas are 220 power. A licensed electrician will run a dedicated line from the main electrical panel, um, often what you see in a garage. Uh, and that main electrical panel uh, will have a conduit run from there all the way out to the back of the house. You know, on the back of the house, there'll be a GFI disconnect box. And that disconnect box is essentially your on off switch. Swim spas range from 50 to 60 amps usually. Uh, and so uh, again, very much like a hot tub in that uh, sense. Now, if you're buying a dual temp uh, or a swim spa that has a hot tub section and a pool section, many times those are separate pieces of equipment. And now you're looking at 90 amps or 100 amps or even 110 amps, and you're running two separate circuits to each end of the, the pool. So. Again, as you're thinking through uh, the installation and access and things like that, consider that we're gonna be running electrical to that uh, site. Now at AquaQuip, um, we have our own in-house electricians. That's absolutely something that we can do. If you have not talked to your salesperson yet, uh, ask uh, your salesperson about that and we'd love to come out and give you an estimate on what that would cost and make it more of a turnkey installation in that sense. So uh, absolutely something we'd love to help you with. So now let's talk about uh, You've got the swim spa in, you've poured a pad, you've built a vault, whatever you're gonna do. Let's think about how you're gonna get in and out of the swim spa. Uh, swim spas are uh, not short, you know, you've gotta build up to it. So there's all kinds of things that will allow you easy access into the swim spa. Uh, what you see here in our showroom is an example of a modular deck kit that's very popular. But many people will have a deck built around the swim spa, either on one side or two, or maybe on all four sides of the swim spa. If you're not thinking about something quite so involved as a, as a deck, um, it's very, very popular to put in the Leisure Concepts Mod Steps. Mod Steps uh, are a great uh, way with a four-step uh, elevation to a platform with built-in handrails. 
make it very, very easy to get in and out of a swim spa. What you should be thinking about right now is how that swim spa is going to be positioned in your yard. Which side of the swim spa is it designed to get in and out of most comfortably? Maybe the swim spa you're buying has only one option. Maybe it's got a few options. But before you get too far down the road, you're going to want to think about where am I going to climb in and out of this? And is that going to align with where my deck is built or where the steps are going to go? Do I have space for the steps? That kind of thing. So again, that's something that we can help you through that process. You are definitely going to want to think about that before you get too far down the road of site prep and ground prep. So the next thing I want to talk about is uh, covers. Now, covers are a real challenge. Let's just admit it. Covers are a challenge in the swim spa industry. Uh, typically, swim spas will come with what I would call the traditional hot tub style cover, a vinyl cover that's in sections that you have to take off, uh, physically take off and remove. You have to find a place to set those covers when you're using the pool and then put them back on and hopefully not drag a bunch of dirt back onto the, uh, the pool when you put it in there. Bit of a necessary evil, the, the covers that come with the uh, hydro pool swim spas are locking covers, they're thick, they're uh, safe, they're efficient, um, but taking uh, covers on and off is, is not always easy. Many people will upgrade to what we call a roll away cover or an end to end cover. That's a one piece cover that's also efficient, very safe and easy for one person to roll up. Um, we'll show you an example of that. It's absolutely something that we provide at AquaQuip, um, but you may want to upgrade to an end to end cover to make it easy for one person to, to use while still enjoying the safety and efficiency of a cover. Uh, and then the next uh, step up is what we call a Covana. Um, Covanas are not inexpensive, let's just face that right now, but uh, neither is your swim spa. And a Covana is absolutely the easiest, cleanest, most efficient, safest solution for a swim spa cover there is. Uh, simply turn a key, the Covana top lifts up and becomes an overhead structure. It's pretty high up, so it's not going to block a lot of sunlight. Um, and it will protect from rain because it does rain a time or two in Seattle. Uh, and then you turn a key and the whole thing comes back down and becomes the secure uh, safety and, and cleanliness cover for your swim spa. Uh, Covanas are absolutely worth thinking about. I, I realize that they're a, a hefty expense on an already um, expensive, expensive purchase. Um, but we sell a lot of Covanas in year two and year three of swim spa ownership. Uh, to people who wish they would have purchased that right out of the gate. So uh, so I know it's a stretch, but think through that and, and see if that's an option. And of course, financing is always an option with us as well. So, so there you have it. We've talked through uh, how are we going to get this thing in the backyard? Uh, what is the ground prep uh, look like? What are those options? Uh, what access is important to the swim spa? How we're going to get the electrical there and what that looks like? How you're going to access uh, the swim spa for use and what covers look like? We've uh, hopefully talked through what AquaQuip does, what's a part of the purchase of the uh, swim spa itself, and what is your responsibility as the homeowner getting ready to put this product in. We'd love to make this as easy as possible. It's the fastest growing product category in the industry. And uh, I hope you decide to put one in. I hope it goes beautifully for you. If you have questions about swim spas in particular, or the process and logistics around putting a swim spa in your backyard, please know that you can always contact us at sales at aquaquip.com. Just visit our website, uh, aquaquip.com, where we're doing a lot of virtual uh, presentations and virtual demonstrations right now. You can sign up on our website for a virtual demonstration, which is no uh, more complicated than a FaceTime call or maybe a Zoom call, where we can see your backyard and we can talk to you about access issues and site considerations, and we can show you the features and benefits of the swim spa right from the comfort of your own home. We can also quote electrical right via a Zoom call like that as well. So it can be very, very fast and an efficient way to be supportive as you're thinking through uh, the logistics about putting this in. AquaQuip has 10 local stores around the Seattle area. Several of our showrooms have swim spas set up. We can uh, set up a socially distanced uh, swim spa experience where you can bring in your suits and try it out. We highly, highly recommend that. Take it for a test swim before making that final purchase and see what it's like and we can show you the various options and model options and things like that. So a couple of very important ways uh, to, to help you get closer to that comfort zone of, of the swim spa experience. Several great ways to make you feel really good about your purchase and what's coming out uh, to the home uh, for the swim spa.